today I'm here with Jason Hardy, Catalyst Game Labs. Yes, and uh, tell us, so your, what, how long has Shadowrun, the new edition, been out? Uh, the core rule book came here for the first time. So the, when we started settling on Thursday, that's the first time it's been on sale anywhere. The beginner box, we had at Origins and it went on sale to the public in July. Wow. So what's, what are the main changes that have taken place from, from in this new edition compared to the old ones? So the, the rule book overall is like 150 pages shorter. So what we wanted to do was streamline everything, make it easier to get into the game, make it quicker to play and get you to the parts of the game that are the most fun, like where you blow stuff up and gain big victories and all that. So there are fewer skills. Uh, we expanded the edge mechanic from Shadowrun 5th edition, which just means that instead of dealing with a lot of modifiers, you're looking at your tactical advantage in any situation, gaining a point of edge, trying to accumulate that, and then when you, the time is right, spend it to get the great effect that you want. And then everything else across the board, like how many actions you get, how initiative works, is simplified. All right. So I remember Shadowrun from back back in the 80s. Now, science fiction has changed a lot since then. Cyberpunk has changed a lot since then. How's, how has the storyline, uh, main storyline, changed from then till now? So some of the technology changes, because you know the old days of cyberpunk, everything had to be plugged in and you had to jack in with your skull. So we figured out how to do wireless. But if you look at the themes of cyberpunk, really it's about how do you maintain your individuality? How do you maintain your independence with all the things that might try to crush a person down? And that's still very relevant in our world today. So even if the neon and some of the things harken back to the 80s, which is fine because some parts of the 80s were good, that overall theme of how do I stay a person with integrity in a world that doesn't want to let me live and wants to beat me down, I think it's very relevant. So um, with the beginner box, what can experience or new players uh, see in there? Uh, what, what can, what's in there that can help new players especially? Uh, so they have character dossiers in there. So there's four different characters. And it not only gives you the game stats for each character, but there's a rundown of what they might do in a sample shadow run. And then in the next column, it tells you how to resolve that using the game rules. So you'll get a quick walkthrough to say, okay, this is what, uh, how I'd figure out how many dice to roll, this is what I do in this situation. So it really guides you through how the different archetypes work. And then the game masters will have uh, an adventure that's already pre-generated and a simplified rule set so that they can launch right into it and figure out how the rules work. Okay, so uh, what is your favorite character to make here? I always like the uh, kind of sneaky part of Shadowrun, so there's a covert ops specialist uh, named Yu in the beginner box set. And just the fact that he can either sneak his way past guards or sometimes charm his way past guards, I really like trying to do that rather than breaking out the guns immediately. <laughs> so um, what's next for Shadowrun? What upcoming products can we expect uh, this year or next year? So coming immediately up, we'll have a lot of adventures to get people launched into it. We'll have a, uh, an online adventure called Free Seattle, and then a plot book called Cutting Black. We've got some big events planned for the sixth world, and that's going to detail them all out. And each chapter's got a lot of fun ways to play. And then a campaign book called 30 Nights that focuses on one part of that plot book and gives you a chance to play through 30 nights of total chaos and disaster. <laughs> And then we'll have a combat book uh, coming out late this year, early next. Okay. So uh, where can uh, players pick up the new, uh, new edition? Is it available online? Yeah, so we have our store at CatalystGameLabs.com. Uh, we also always put our PDFs up on Drive-Thru RPG. And then physical products go out to game stores all over the place, and you can buy those through our web store as well.